When I talk about the vision of Shake the Nations, I have to go right back to the encounter I had with the Lord Jesus Christ in 2002. That was where my life changed, and that is where God birthed the mandate in my heart to preach the gospel to the nations of the world. This has been an incredible journey. Back in 2006, the scripture from Haggai 2.7, God burnt that in my heart that God will shake all nations, and they will come to the desire of all nations, and I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord of hosts. I have to go back right into 2006, our first gospel campaigns preached across Africa, India, where we witnessed over 100,000 Muslims and Hindus give their lives to Jesus Christ. It was in those services that God began to enlarge my vision that this was bigger than just one ministry. This was about the proclamation and the declaration of the gospel of Jesus Christ in these last days. And that has been the mandate for the ministry, witnessing thousands upon thousands hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. And it was there that I witnessed such signs, wonders and miracles. The blind seeing, the deaf hearing, the lame walking. Just a young man with a fire burning in his heart. The boy could not speak or hear. Watch this. Jesus. I think back to 2010 as we come into the United States of America, another landmark moment for the ministry of Shake the Nations, preaching for Pastor John Kilpatrick, which birthed what was called the Bay of the Holy Spirit Revival. This was a defining season for the ministry of Shake the Nations. Not only was God pouring out His Spirit, but He was also repositioning the ministry for what I believe would be the next decade of Shake the Nations ministries. It was during those services, even though the Spirit of God was being outpoured, that my heart began to burn even brighter for the nations of the world. And that's what we see today. Multitudes filling stadiums all over the world, hungry to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is the heartbeat of Shake the Nations Ministries, that we must preach this gospel to our generation. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you don't Jesus as your Savior and Savior. Then you're going to run to this altar. Then you're going to run to this altar. If you die tonight, si mueres esta noche, where would you spend eternity? Where would you spend eternity? Jesus is waiting for you right Jesus now. Jesus is waiting for you right now. Jesus is waiting for you right now. Come on to Jesus. Ven a Jesús, come to Jesus. Ven a Jesús, come to Jesus. Ven a Jesús. You know, it's been our heart that we were not only preach the gospel, but we would help equip the body of Christ to do the same. That is why we're taking teams from all over the world. Many are coming from local churches. They're traveling with us into these gospel campaigns where they're taught, they're equipped, and then we launch them out into the harvest field. Last night we got to pray for a woman who her sight was renewed and she was actually reading smaller print than she was able to read with her glasses. You could not do this before? No, sin lentes. Give Jesus one more shot! Seeing the kids, uh, you know, pray for people and have miracles happen. As a mom, um, you just, you can't put a price on that. It's life changing. I think it's one thing to read in the Bible about signs and wonders and miracles, but when you experience it firsthand, it will change your life forever. Very early on in my walk with Christ, the Holy Spirit spoke to me something that I believe I'm standing on the precipice of. I saw as the Holy Spirit opened my eyes to multiple stadiums in one night. And it, it was through this that I literally saw nations begin to tremble under the mighty hand of God. This is all about multiplying. And this is why it's our heart at Shake the Nations Ministries that we might see tomorrow's evangelist arise under this ministry, that we might see the fulfillment of what I believe is an end time harvest. That is why the school of evangelism, raising up tomorrow's evangelist, is something that is, is a mandate from the Lord that I believe we must fulfill. That's why in 2020, 2021, we will be launching our school of evangelism. We're gonna raise up, I believe in the next year, over a thousand evangelists that will be ready, equipped with the DNA of the gospel and the fire of the Holy Ghost to be a witness to this generation. 
God has blessed Shake the Nations Ministries with an incredible media team that work tirelessly to broadcast the gospel to the nations. Our program, Desire of All Nations, is broadcast through God TV, who have come alongside this ministry and partnered with us, and we're so thankful for their hearts to see the gospel preached across the nations of the world. Not only are our team working tirelessly on the program, but also through social media, I believe this is reaching a millennial generation. This is how they view content, and we're pressing even greater that we can have new ideas, new ways to capture this generation. It's just an incredible time. I want to thank our partners that make all of this possible, the studio, the staff. I believe we're reaching thousands with the gospel of Jesus Christ. When I think of where God has brought us from to where we are today, I not only seize this moment, but my heart burns for where He is leading us. The greatest harvest of souls the world has ever seen. Nations will be shaken under the mighty hand of God. That's why we're already holding more gospel campaigns than ever in our history. We are joining with other evangelistic ministries around the world that we might reach this harvest. We're looking to raise up tomorrow's generation through our schools. We are reaching the impoverished, the poor, through hope of all nations. In the nation of Honduras, we are reaching thousands of children with the gospel of Jesus Christ. We're believing that orphanages, that schools will be raised up, that we might see this generation change through social action. Through our media, we're reaching multitudes around the world. We believe together, hand in hand, if we will put our hands to the plow and believe in where God is leading us to, that we will see the greatest harvest of souls the world has ever seen. That is why I want to thank our partners around the world. And I'm asking for those of you that burn to see this gospel preached, that you would join with this ministry, that we might win the lost. In Jesus' mighty name.